Hey guys, it's your girl Lashes Tony XO. How are you guys doing today? So happy shop mustache. How are you guys doing? Um, if you're new to my channel, hello. We would love to have you here. My name is Michelle. You can be part of our Lashes Tony XO family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell as well and you'll be notified four days a week, which is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday when I post my videos. And yeah, I'm so excited because I didn't do a shot mustache last Saturday. So I told you guys, sometimes I will be skipping a Saturday if I feel like, um, number one, I need to play with the products more. Number two, um, if I'm just really busy and I just don't have time to do it, which is what happened. The first thing I want to talk about is the Jaclyn Hill body powder. I'm actually wearing it today. I don't have any self tanner on. This is just the body powder. Um, I got the color feeling it. Um, it's called the Luminate Powder. So basically, basically you can do what you want with it. You can put it on your face, you can put it on your body, but it's this big, gorgeous, like, I love the packaging. I just think it looks really luxe. And then the way you open it is like this. And you just dab the color in there. Very pigmented. Then you get a brush and just kind of bronze all over your body. That's the way I've been using it. And I really do love it. Again, I will, I'm will. i pretty fair. So if I love it and it works on me, then I'm sure it'll work on you as well. And if you have dark skin, you would probably really love this as like a glowy bronzer or maybe you have really dark skin it might be like a really beautiful highlight on you i just think this is gorgeous gorgeous powder let's see if i can swatch on my hand what it actually looks like okay that's the color so it's a very um it's a very glowy like a glowy bronzer but i'm using i use it for like i said a body body bronzer for me um it's just too dark for like obviously a bronzer or a highlight or anything like that so that's the way i like to use it but you can use it however you want again i got the color feeling it i have all different colors in this i will link it below i really like it i did get mine when it was on sale um at ulta it was like when they had their 21 days of beauty so I think it was like half off. They had some really good deals this year. They had one of my favorite palettes was like twenty some dollars. Um, the Too Faced Natural Palette. It was on sale. Drinking a pumpkin ice chop. Um. Okay. So what I'm wearing on my eyes today is a very like purple simple purple look um and i've really been enjoying this palette a lot so this is the huda beauty uh wild jaguar palette and that's what i what i have on my eyes today and i also have another video where i'm actually wearing this and i will link it down below um i'm also doing a three looks one palette with this so i don't know when i'm going to finish that video it takes a while to film that type of video and then edit and stuff like that so um that takes a while so this is the colors that i used today i used the taupe that shimmery purple right there and that gorgeous light uh violet shimmer in the middle and that's what i topped over my lid so i used three of those colors in the palette um, I also did another look recently using this color right here in this chocolate color and this taupe color so I used uh, I did another really pretty look with that I haven't tapped in the gold yet but I really want to <laughs> the gold has been calling my name so I'm really thinking about doing a three looks one palette with this but i also have been enjoying the nabla palette the side by side nabla palette and this one i also did a look with this um if you guys have seen my my recent post it's the 
um, September favorites. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. But I'm actually wearing this palette. So both of these palettes I'm really, really enjoying. So that's why I was like, I'm so excited to keep, um, to have this in my collection longer. So I've really been enjoying this. The uh, Cinnamon Swirl Too Faced palette I've been playing with. Um, not loving it as much as these two. So, I think that as you will, but I've been playing with these two more. I feel like the colors are fun. There's some gorgeous colors. The pigmentation is amazing. This palette just doesn't wow me. Like the, their, their one from last year, I really, really liked a lot. Um, it had some green tones in there, and I, I don't know. I just really liked that palette better. Um, this one smells amazing, but the colors just don't wow me. They're pretty, pretty, um, I don't know. They're just not wowing me. So I don't get inspired to use this palette as much. Um, so this so far has like, I feel like was a waste of money. It was like $50. I just, I don't love it as much as I love these two. And these were cheaper. So I think I got both of these for the price of this one. So I would recommend the Nabla and the Huda and not this one. That's just my personal take also use this a couple times this is the rare beauty primer now this is the glow primer i really like it it kind of reminds me of the becca what i was saying was the primer reminds me of the becca primer and since becca is going out of business if you really enjoy that primer the glowy primer that they've had out for years then I would say try the Rare Beauty one. It does the exact same thing. It has that glow. Um, you can put on your cheekbones um, or you can mix them with foundation. You can put it on before foundation if you have like drier skin. I don't really feel like it's hydrating. It's just more of a, you know, a very like glowy look. Let me see if I can put a couple of dots on my face. Let's see if that'll work. I don't know. So it's just like a glow. If you can see that. So you can put it under makeup if you want to. Put it over makeup if you want to. It's a lot like the Becca primer. But like I said, since that one's going out of business, you could try this one if you like it. I did try out the Jaclyn Hill highlighter in the color bomb this highlighter is extremely powerful so if you don't like a blinding highlight this is not for you if you do like a blinding highlight then this is for you um so i personally stay away from blinding highlights i'm just not a big fan anymore like i used to be but i'm going to show you kind of like i guess on my decollete i'll try to sit back and show you on my collarbone or on my shoulder can you see that at all it's extremely blinding like i said if you're going out somewhere at night and you wanted a little body glow i think it would be really pretty can you see the body the glow on my body i think that would be really pretty but on the face i feel like it's a little much you just have to be super careful with it it's very it's extremely pigmented um it's a it's a good product i think it's worth the money but like i said i think i would use it more on the body like for like special like date night or something or a girl's night um not like an everyday highlighter it's too too blingy way too blingy so those are my thoughts on the makeup that I played with this week. Let's go ahead and show our stash. I'm going to do affordable, affordable makeup is what I'm going to do. Because I do have that new ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette that I'm really excited to play with. Um, I'm going to pull very affordable pr uh, products. No high end, just affordable. So... I do own ColourPop Foundation, which is right here. I own the uh, ColourPop 
pretty fresh foundation. Um, and let me see. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. I haven't used this in a while. It's supposed to give like really good coverage, but also be very hydrating. So I think I'm gonna give this one a go and see. Um, I haven't played with this in a while. I'm also gonna pull the um, Pretty Fresh, what is this? The um, Tinted Moisturizer. I'm gonna pull both of these for the week. Throw them in my little basket. And now we need a affordable um, concealer. So what is my most affordable concealer? Probably the e.l.f. Um, but since I used that one a lot, I kind of want to pull something different. Let's do, we haven't pulled this one in a while. Let's do the um, CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. Okay, so for primer, I was going to put the L'Oreal because you guys know that's my favorite. But I'm going to play with this one. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Um, and I haven't really used this, but maybe once. So, this is the texture and the color. This one feels to me more silicone-y. And that's not my favorite texture. But I'm going to pull this one. And if I don't like it, it will be in a future declutter. Okay, for bronzers i was going to pull physicians formula but honestly physicians formula is not that cheap um to me i feel like it's more mid-range price so um i'm trying to decide here um i haven't played with this one in a while and this is i feel like a lot cheaper than physicians formula this is the revlon skin lights uh bronzer and this one's in 110 um, this one reminds me, like, of a, you can see it has a really good dip in it. I obviously like this bronzer. It kind of reminds me of a cheaper version of the Hourglass bronzer. It kind of has that glowy look to it. So, I think I'm going to pull this one because it is affordable. Who had this palette from e.l.f. It has two blushes and a cream contour. So, I could use this palette. This palette's pretty affordable. So, we'll just go with this. And then, I like to have an actual powder. So, we'll pull both of these because they're affordable. Okay, so for affordable blushes, I'm going to go with my favorite cream affordable blush. This is the Milani one in Nude Kiss. I just really, really like this one a lot. Okay, so I'm going to pull this one for a nude look. This one is affordable, Wet n Wild. This one is in the color Fantastic Plastic Pink, which reminds me of Mean Girls every time I hear that. Fantastic Plastic. So, this is one of my all-time favorite pinks. Um, I don't know if they still make it, but you can check Wet n Wild's website. Um, but it's just the color icon Wet n Wild. Again, Fantastic Plastic Pink. So, we have a pink and we have a nude. I'm going to pull the e.l.f. Um, powder. This is the Halo Glow Setting Powder. This is really nice. A really nice um, loose powder. And I have the color Light. So I'm going to pull going to pull that one. For mascara, we're going to pull the e.l.f. Big Mood Mascara. So I have my mascara and my powder. Okay guys, we're going to go ahead and do our palettes because I totally forgot. So for palette, I am Palettes, I am going to pull my new ColourPop Hocus Pocus palette. I'm really excited to play with this. So that's what I'm going to be pulling for the week. I'm going to pull two of my new ColourPop lips. These are ColourPop Lux. One is a lip oil and one is a like a liquid lipstick, but it's called Velvet. Lux Velvet. And I got the shades... Um, can you even is the more like the liquid lipstick. It's not really liquid lipstick, but it kind of, it's like a moussey texture. So that one is can you even. 
And then I also have the lip oil, which is in the color Hot Shot, which I'll swatch beside it. The lip oil is obviously more like a clear color. I'm going to pull those too. I'm going to pull this Sephora lipstick. This is a new lipstick. It's really pretty. It's in the color Tan Lines. And it's just basically a nude. So we're going to pull that one. They're very affordable. So the first one is L'Oreal. And it's in Mating Call. And I'll swatch it. That's what Mating Call looks like. The next one is by Morphe, and it's called Sweet Tea. It's a little more brown. Then we also have another Sephora color. This matches the Tan Line Sephora lipstick really good. And this one is Sephora Lip Pencil. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and pick a winner drum roll please this is very exciting i love giving things away to you guys you guys i love you guys so much and i really really truly honestly appreciate all the love and support that i get from you guys i have such loyal subscribers y'all been around forever and i mean you click on every video you leave comments you just you're amazing so i just want to thank this is how i thank you guys and i just really enjoy giving back to you guys all right so i'm just gonna scroll um, I did check to make sure that people followed the rules. And so if I land on someone who don't didn't follow the rules, they will not be chosen. So I am going to scroll back and forth because I don't want to be like, ah. Okay, so the winner is, drum roll please, da -da 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 -da. Sunny. Sunny, you are my winner. So I don't know, I'm not familiar with you, so I don't know if you're international or if you're US. But if you're US, um, just DM me on my Instagram since you did leave your handle down. You're subscribed to my YouTube channel. You're following me on Instagram. You left your handle and you left your favorite food. So you did everything that you were supposed to do. You left a comment and you hashtagged um, Shop My Stash Giveaway. So thank you for following all the rules. And you are my winner, Sunny, S-U-N-N-Y. Um, message me. Let me know your address. If you're international, um, like I said, you will get a virtual Sephora gift card through your email. And if you're U.S., then just let me know in the DM which Natasha Denona mini palette you would like, and I will be mailing it to you. All right, so... Thank you guys for participating in this giveaway. It was a lot of fun to do. So much fun, in fact. I'm going to do another fun one. I told you guys, you definitely want to be subscribed to my channel and following me during this holiday season, this fall season. I'm just in the gift-giving mood. So what we're going to give away this week for Shop My Stash is a Sephora favorites so you get to pick out which sephora favorite set that you want so if you're u.s this is going to be open like i said international and u.s so if you're international um you let me know what sephora favorite set that you want and i will send you a gift card for it for sephora and if you are u.s let me know which sephora favorite set that you want and I will mail that out to you. So, one winner, U.S. and international, open now. And I will leave it open in maybe a week, maybe two weeks. So, good luck to everybody. Make sure you remember to hashtag Shop My Stash Giveaway. Make sure to leave your Instagram handle down below. Leave a comment. And what should we add to this one for an emoji? Leave an emoji of your favorite favorite something fall so if you like pie maybe a piece of pie if you like the the fall leaves if you like fashion if you like food if you like pumpkins if you like ghosts whatever you like for the fall leave that in the comment down below hashtag shop my sash giveaway and leave a comment be subscribed be following me on instagram leave your handle down below all that good stuff 
and I will send you back here and you can pick out what Sephora gift set you want. Okay guys, nothing over, we'll say nothing over 50. We'll put a little $50 budget, budget on it, okay? Because this is just my weekly giveaways. So I am going to do big giveaways as well. We're going to have like the 12 days of Christmas coming up. And I'm going to be giving 12 gifts away. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, you definitely want to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. It helps my channel out when you give me a thumbs up. It also helps my channel when you share it with your friends. I would really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hello. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. And you'll get notified for every time I post a video. I post four times a week, which is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Okay, guys. Have a good one. Congratulations, Sunny. Make sure to message me. Bye, guys. Love you.